see yourself start to make your way to your front door. This door is now a portal to the middle world. Open the door and welcome your guide. You recognize your guide and you're happy to see them. They're going to stay with you for this journey and they're walking you now away from your home down a gravel path. Let yourself feel the space around you. Feel the gravel beneath you. Move in this space and process any apprehension or fear that is clinging to you and wanting your attention. Touch the space with your body. Feel the ground underfoot. Feel the space ahead waiting to embrace you as you move forward. Touching space is how we process fear. Welcome to the clearing. As the gravel path ends, a grassy area spreads out in front of you under a bright, clear sky. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. Tremendous trees greet you and your friends in the circle are here with their guides. You see a stream with clear water running over rocks and all sorts of musical instruments lining the stream, the edge of the stream. There's a whole section that has paper and paints and brushes. Large rocks are there for resting. There's so much to see, explore, enjoy. This is your clearing. This is your space in the middle world. Head over to the stream now for some creek drinking, sipping the sound of water with your ears. Listen, listen to the sound of the water. Look deeply into the water. Take it in with all of your senses. And what is the sound say to you, listen for a bit. Now look at all the musical instruments nearby. You can choose any instrument. And yes, you do know how to play the one that you select. Is it a timpani, a harp? a trumpet or a kazoo, you're going to make music for the water. Sing, clap, drum, ring bells, blow horns, find your favorite instrument and make music for the water. This is how you show reverence for the water and this vibration of gratitude processes isolation for you and for others. Enjoy. Listen deeply and make music with as many instruments as you like, or just using your own voice and clapping your hands. Make your own music and make it for water.
And now that you've enjoyed music making and that vibration of gratitude and reverence for water with sound processes isolation. Such a wonderful companion is water and music. So take a walk over with your guide now to create visual art and celebrate light and shadow. Yes, this is an act of reverence and what you create comes from your heart. So don't overthink it. Pick up a brush, dip that brush in any color, in any number of colors. And place that brush on the paper. There's textures, fabrics, glue, sparkles. Create visual art to celebrate light and shadow. And this act of reverence processes pain for you and others. Enjoy. Make your, create your visual tribute to light and shadow. Here you are on this land, this beautiful land. This is the land of your ancestors. So many stories are being told in this place and the land loves story. This land is the land of story, myth, legend, memoir, humor, sadness. The rocks are great listeners. You can sit next to a big one and share your story or lean against a tree and ask her to share her story with you. Land and story create a vibration that processes loss. So tell a story so clear you can taste it. What does your story 
it tastes like. Who are you? What's your purpose? Why are you here on the land? Taking a breath, a deep breath. Smell the air. See the wind if you can. If you can see the wind in the trees, or blowing in the hair of your friends and your guides, maybe blowing a little bit of the fabric from your art that you created. Smell the air. What fragrance can you detect? What are you reminded of? Can you catch the scent? Can you match it with a lyric, a rap, a rhyme? Breathe in, breathe out, and let your poetry blow in the wind. When you show reverence for air, with a rap, a rhyme, a lyric, a poem, process despair for yourself and for others. There's air in despair. Let's breathe into it. Breathe out. Catch the scent. Create your poem. it's time to return. We're going to walk back with our guides. We're going to keep our stories with us. They ground our grief. We're going to take our poetry. It gives us hope. We're going to keep our sacred art with us because when we look upon it, it soothes pain. We can share it. And keep your music. We're going to keep our music with us because it keeps us company. And as we move back, back home, we're going to move with the space that surrounds us and find courage to take the next step. door 
to your home. Enter it. Find your place back where you started. And flutter your eyes open. Let's be back in the circle. <laughs>